Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. Two thin circular disc of mass 2 kg and radius 10 cm each are joined by a rigid massless rod of length 20 cm. The axis of the rod is along the perpendicular to the planes of the disc through their centers. This object is kept on a truck in such a way that the axis of the object is horizontal and perpendicular to the direction of the motion of the truck. Its friction with the floor of the truck is large enough so that the object can roll on the truck without slipping. Take x axis as the direction of motion of the truck and z axis as the vertically upward direction. If the truck has an acceleration of 9 meter per second square, calculate here two sub questions is given in this paragraph. First, the force of friction on each disc. And second, the magnitude and the direction of the frictional torque acting on each disc about centers of mass O of the object. Express the torque in the vector form in terms of unit vectors i, j, and k in the x, y, and z direction. Before starting the question, let us first we have to understand what the question says. Here given a truck and which is moving with acceleration. 9 meter per second square and this system which is connected with axle to disc which having the mass is 2 kilogram each and the distance of this axle that is uh, given 20 centimeter and radius of this disc that is 10 centimeter kept over it and direction direction that is this is x positive x dash negative this is z positive z negative given in the question and this is y-axis this is positive side and y-axis negative side okay as we know that when any object kept over moving object and let us suppose its acceleration is a then another acceleration is applied on this box and its direction is opposite and acceleration is the same this acceleration is known as pseudo acceleration same concept applying here in this system the acceleration is applied but in the opposite direction of the truck that is a okay so therefore f this force is applied due to the pseudo force minus fr what is fr rotational force this is rotational force due to any object which is moving without slipping it means pure rotational. So, therefore, Fr is equal to here the force is applied due to the center of mass. So, here m acceleration is center of mass. Okay, let us consider this is a first equation. Clear? Now, tau means torque is equal to I, I for moment of inertia into alpha for angular acceleration okay here we know that what is torque torque is a perpendicular distance and the force here force is fr is equal to i uh, what is i i it is a disc is given so therefore 1 by 2 m r square and for pure rolling here disc is pure rolling without slipping then we know that here angular acceleration can be written as a by r so therefore here a means center of mass upon r okay so therefore fr can be calculate 1 by 2 m r square acceleration for center of mass this is r square r square r square cancel out then fr equal to 1 by 2 m and acceleration of center of mass. This is second equation. 
Now substitute this value in first equation. So F minus 1 by 2 M A C M acceleration of center of mass equal to mass into acceleration of center of mass. F equal to this value is transposing to the right side. Then M acceleration plus 1 by 2 mass into acceleration of center of mass. Then M F equal to uh, 2 and 2 that is 3 M A C M by 2. Now substitute the value here F is mass and what is the acceleration? This acceleration is 9 meter per second square in this direction. So therefore mass into acceleration. And what this is also mass acceleration ACM upon 2. So M and cancel out and uh, 9 into 2 by 3 acceleration of center of mass 3 to the 9, 3 to the 6. So acceleration of center of mass 6 meter per second square in this direction positive x direction. Okay. So FR is equal to 1 by 2 mass into acceleration of center of mass and mass of the disc is given to and acceleration is 6 2 to cancel out and FR is equal to 6 and in the form of vector it can be written as 6 i newton this is the force in the positive direction. Now for calculate the torque both the disc let us first we have to take an position vector for the first disc R1 and uh, suppose let us consider exactly middle part of this axle is considered origin so therefore this is the negative part and this is the positive part and forward direction x axis this is positive part and this is negative part and upper direction z that is positive and z negative so therefore here 20 centimeter is given that is the axle exactly we have to bisect it then we get 20 centimeter it means 20 by 100 then point 2 okay point 2 in y direction and x direction that is 0 so 0 i cap i unit vector and uh, here again y is also negative direction that is 0 0.1 j and this is a portion from the ground that is uh, radius is given 10 centimeter so again 0 0.1 0 0.1 z direction i j k okay so it is r1 and so calculate r1 vector into here force is equal to tau now substitute the value 0 i cap minus 0 0.1 j minus 0 0.1 k cross multiple fr fr is 6 i cap here i cross i that is 0 here i uh, j into i here j into i in the opposite direction so therefore minus minus plus 0 0.6 k and k into i that is uh, in this direction so therefore k i that is j 0 0.6 j after rearranging this is tau 1 tau 1 can be written as minus 0 0.6 j plus 0 0.6 k this is tau 1 okay and similarly we can calculate tau 2 also for the calculation of uh, torque for the second disc we have required r2 position vector for the second again here x axis this coordinate 0 i and here the positive y direction so therefore plus 0 0.1 j and again 0 0.1 k unit vector 
okay and so therefore tau 2 can be written as r2 position vector into fr so what is r2 here 0 i plus 0 0.1 j minus 0 0.1 k and uh, what is fr we have already find out 6 i cap so tau 2 is equal to again by property of cross multiplication i cross i that is 0 and uh, 0 0.6 j into i that is minus k so here we have using minus and k into i minus 0 0.6 k into i that is j rearranging we get 0 0.6 j minus 0 0.6 k newton meter this is tau 2 okay i hope so you understood this question thank you thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when you will become success whole contribution goes to your hard work but if my videos my lectures my questions will help in your success i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you once again take care bye bye